Hey there, welcome back to JavaScript Evangelist. So today we are going to learn how to connect to our Angular Firebase database and uh, fetch posts from the Firebase and as well add some performance uh, techniques to our uh, indexing. So right now if you see uh, this is what we are going to create. We are going to fetch uh, blog posts from our Firebase database. Also there is one more thing we have to do over here. If you look at the console, I'm fetching a user called Steel and the code is displayed over here under app component. If you look at this, so I'm doing a Firebase database query with the list. So basically Angular Firebase database dot list users. I'm ordering all the users by username and I'm searching for a user whose username is steel X. All right. And when I do this query, so also when I'm doing this query for the database, I'm getting a warning from Firebase. Start using index on. So what is index on? So Firebase allows you to make queries, but if you add an index on rule into your Firebase database, the performance for the query will really improve. So we know that we are going to query users. We know that we are going to query posts. Okay. So this is our data. I'll share you mock data in the GitHub repository. Link. You can find it in the description. So this is how currently uh, we have our post data displayed and this is our users. I have removed all the users. I've just kept three users now. I've also added username property steel X for the first user, second user and third user. Also these users are distributed with the post. So which user has posted this? topic or posted this blog post it defines over your user if you scroll down mm, 150 so this post has been made by Talin and let's see so this post has been made by Tandy F all right but I'm going to add a rule over here for the indexing for a better performance so inside your rules I'm just going to add this post index on ID users index on username. All right. Okay. So this is our code from the last video. Uh, if you look at this, we are making a post call request to our uh, JSON placeholder URL. So basically I'm going to remove this and I'm also going to remove this network request and instead we are going to use Firebase database. So let's get started. Also, if you look at it over here, I'm returning three users because in the app component, you can see I'm making an uh, observable over here, which is uh, uh, basically Angular Fire Database dot list users. It is returning me all the users. I'm going to delete everything from here. Let's just go to post container component. Over here, instead of loading this post from JSON placeholder, we are going to load this post from our Firebase database. So let's just go to post service. Over here, I'm going to remove all this. I'm going to remove all this. Okay. Rather than using HTTP, I'm going to use Angular Fire. So private AF as Angular Fire database. So Angular Fire database uh, allows us to query. So I have Angular Fire database. So I'm going to return this dot af dot list. So I need list of post. So slash posts. Basically, we are going to get all the posts. And we are going to map the result. So response equals to response.json. Let's see what happens and let's refresh. All right, <laughs> there is nothing now. And we have an error uh, that response.json is not a function. I'm just going to do a console log over here. Let's see what we are getting. And this do operator will need to add it. So it's provided to us by RxJS. I'm going to go here, add a do operator. And let's see what we are receiving now. All 
Okay. All right. We received all the posts. And if you look at the network, there is no network request because we are connected to uh, Firebase through an event. It's kind of a WebSocket. And we are getting all the posts. Uh, for now, we don't need all the posts. Let's just see one of the posts. So this is already a JSON data list. List list returns us a list of objects. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to filter out first 10 posts. So I'm going to pass an options object over here, a query. So we are modifying a query. So we are telling what kind of entries we want, list we want. So we want to order. First of all, we want to order by key. Okay. And we're going to set it to true. And we want only first 10 posts. So we're going to limit only 10. So limit to first 10 posts. All right. Let's see what we are getting now. Okay, perfect. We are getting 10 posts only now and these are all ordered by key. So one to 10. So now we are getting the, getting the data, but uh, let's just introduce interface. Uh, rather than just returning an observable of type any, we want this observable. So this is an entire observable. The data which is emitting to us, we want it to be a type of post. So let's just add that interface first. So go to your shared folder. Over here, I'm going to create a new folder called model. So this model will hold our post interface. Post.ts. So basically, uh, I need to export a function over here. So this is basically going to be a class and we're going to export it. Export class post, a capital post. And basically it will have a constructor over here. We have to initialize our post with a certain set of parameters. So what I mean by that? So when we are returning this object, Mm. I'll just show you the problem, then we'll come back to our model. Uh, for now, I'm just going to add the uh, interface for the uh, constructor function in the post model. All right, so we are getting the data. We are getting this data. Go back to the post container. So we are receiving this posts. This is an observable. Go to the HTML. Over here, we are passing this post as an async rather than passing this as an async. I'm just going to pass it as is. So I'm just directly passing an observable to the single post. Over here, of course, I need to declare what kind of post list I'm receiving. So I'm receiving an array of post. So we are receiving an observable and we want to display the list of data that we are getting. Post lit, since this is an observable, we have to pass an async file. Okay, and the title is basically everything is, has changed. Uh, I'll just show it to you in console. So we are getting a post body post title. But when you do post dot, you're not getting what kind of data it is. Like you don't know what kind of data it is. You have to go to the console and check what, what are the node, what are the keys will be there in that object. So we don't know all the, all of that, right? So to know all this in the TypeScript, when you hit dot and like when you get all these tooltips, we need to specify the type of this post, the type of data we are getting. Okay. For now, let's see how it looks. All right, we are getting everything. I'm going to go back to the post service now. I need to map whatever data I receive. So normally we do something like this response. We map the response to the JSON. Rather than doing all this, we are getting an array. 
as we saw before array contains all the objects so we have to map we have to loop over each array so array dot map and we have to tell that this each post which we are getting we have to map it to the post okay i'll just insert the model first Okay, this is a post array. So we have to tell that this is a post. All right. And we have to pass all things that we are receiving. So we are receiving this post. Okay, but we don't want everything from this post. We want to filter out everything. So rather than typing all this over here. So let's just go back to the post model. So I'm creating a static method over here from array data so this is basically an each array that we receive from array so we are getting an object that object is post but so normally we have to do something like this let mm, dollar key equal to post dot dollar key in comma then you have to say post underscore title is going to be is going to be post dot post underscore title so we have to keep writing all this rather than uh, in es6 we have a neat way we can map it directly over here in the arguments uh, dollar key is provided to us by firebase indexing provided to us by firebase so we are getting all the data we are mapping them as is we are going to need one more function that will run before this from array static so we are going to run this function each array dot map will we are passing we are going to pass the each post that we get to the array map and we are going to initiate instantiate the post class so whenever we get a data we are going to need a function so uh, we are going to pass a function that takes an array of objects and maps it to the array of posts let's pass our post by the way what is static <laughs> so static functions uh, can be run without even instantiating a class okay post dot so we have to pass create from json so basically from json list we have to pass this function all right and whenever this function is run it will run this for each array it will individually map and it will instantiate the post class all right so that's it with this and if you do a console log over here okay you can see that each post is basically in now type of lesson uh, i can even change all this go to the post instead of saying this as a post title i can just say title title but this this one needs to be still post title cause from the back end we are receiving it as post title now it's telling me that i should use const okay we are getting a data here we go we are getting title so this is indeed uh, an array of post all right i'm just going to stick to post title keep the code neat all right now since we are receiving the data from the post service so post container on ng init we are receiving this data as an observable then we are going to the post container html we are passing the observable as is we are not handling the async pipe over here inside the single post component 
we are marking the post list as an array. It's going to be a list of post array. Inside the HTML of single post component, we are receiving all this data. But whenever we receive this data, there is a loading time. So we have to display something like, oh, loading, loading, loading. And when we receive the data, we have to finally display the data. All right. So post title, let's see what is the issue over here. Getting everything else, but not the title. Let's see why. Okay, I had forgot to update this. We go back to our single post component. We need post title, title. Uh, we'll also add a few more things. So an author who created this user followed by date dot date. I'm going to use the date file. All right, we are getting everything perfectly. Also, uh, wrap this in a, a tag again. So in future, we are going to link this to a single post, like a, in a different route. This is going to be slash post. All right, everything's looking good. Yes, these are a few stylings which I have added into the project style file. You can check it over here. Okay, this few styles I have added. And in the index, I have added this bootstrap file. So I was talking about the loading. So whenever we don't see anything, we need to display a loading over here. We are receiving a post list, which is an observable. So we can use the Angular 4 syntax, the new Angular 4 syntax, ngif. So we're getting this post. So this is an observable. We have to pass the async pipe over here. But we are going to use this as a reference posts. So we are getting all these posts. But if you don't have the post, else we have to reference this as posts loading. So this template will show only if the condition is false. So we have to mark it like this a reference object. Refresh. We are getting the loading. And once we have the data, it's being displayed over here. So that's it from this uh, video. In the next video, we are going to add the search type head. So as soon as you type something, you're getting all these tooltips. And if I select a result, the, dis the result is being shown over here. So we are going to do just do that. Search will add somewhere here. Whenever you type, the search result will be shown over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my videos. Thank you.